I'm a little bit behind on stuff I've been sent. For instance, some crystals that I haven't made much use of. But then this morning, I found this huge package at my front door from KC0KBG. Must have cost a fortune to post. Anyway, it's in a mailing tube. I'm thinking maybe it's some sort of map. But then, when I rattle it, it feels a bit more to it than that. It's something solid. We have opened by Australia Post for inspection some metal Christmas things. And they look like giant M&Ms. And there's something else. Ugh. The strings. Yep, definitely strings attached here. And it looks like a kite. Oh, and there's some more stuff down here. From John KC0KBG. And it's a kite that you can get in Walmart stores in March through May. So if you're in the States in a few months, have a look out for them. And the possibility is using it to lift a long wire. There's a few pages here. Uh, here we are, build the tiny tuna. Okay, this is an article from June 1992 Popular Electronics. So there's a, a stack here and it looks like there's an L match, two different types. So yeah, it looks like some good stuff there and some uh, a transceiver idea. AA0ZZ receiver. Looks like you can get it online. Uh, looks like any 612 versus. Oh, here's some more articles. Um, synthesizer for binaural CW reception from Ham Radio, November 1975. Two filters, one's low pass, the other's high pass, and there's minimum attenuation at 750 hertz. So, um, the idea is that one ear I think has mainly the lower frequencies, and the other channel has mainly the higher frequencies. So, maybe it gives you a bit of um, binaural reception effects. Anyway, there's some filters there, looks like op amp audio filters. Um, so pretty straightforward in, in how it works. Australia Post help themselves. Doesn't look like it. There's two packs in here, the same as the others. As they're metal, you could potentially use them as top loading on a vertical antenna. I've heard of people using, I think they were brass or copper balls from old toilet systems they were probably about 10 15 centimeters in diameter and they use that for the top loading of antennas maybe something like this would help relieve corona discharges if you have those on the top of the antennas not that's something we have a problem with for qrp operating distinctive thing about this kite is that you can scrunch it up very small and there's no sticks so potentially useful for a portable qrp kite based station thanks for all that john a great surprise and i'll go out somewhere and do some kite flying It's moderate variable winds. I've got both sky tails attached. 
Next I'll try only one, which is supposed to be better for lighter winds. I think it's more stable with two tails, at least in these winds. You probably can't see it, but the bottom of the 20 metres of wire has come off the reel at the bottom. So it's hanging pretty much straight vertical. And the winds become a bit more constant, so the kite's a bit more reliably up. So yeah, this kite seems to be a reasonable choice for portable operating as an antenna support. And thanks again to John, KC0KBG.